sorry, body reaction extension here with the world of Devin segment. Um, so um, I'm about to do a video today for most amazing top ten. I'm actually subscribed to them, and they drop videos daily. So make sure you check out their channel. They drop, I think they drop about four or five videos daily. So um, right now I'm going to check out um, top ten scariest people inside of a Walmart. Walmart is scary on its own. Walmart is a character, I believe. I believe Walmart is alive. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, you know, um, read too much into that. You will uh, freak yourself out, trust me. But I feel like uh, when a store closes, like, everything inside comes alive. Like, that's how that's how crazy Walmart is, you know? You, you find some of the weirdest people in there. You find some of the craziest people in there. But you know what? Hey, to each his own. I don't go in there really too much. I used to, and I stopped going because they're, they're just hectic, you know? Like, it's, it's people everywhere. But anyway, um, we're going to get right into this reaction video. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell for more notifications from me, and it will come to you. Also, let me know what you want me to ask next, and I got you found my hashtag already in. Let's get right into this reaction video, you guys. Let's go. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm, I'm very interested in and what's going to see, what I'm going to see. Walmart, the home of the ratchetest people you will ever encounter. She's not lying. That's not my personal opinion. That was a quote from many former Walmart employees. I've only ever been to Walmart three times my whole life, but it's great, dude. Everything's cheap. The lines are never too long. That's why it's ratchet. It's just so far away, so I can't really go there. Anyway, enough about that. These are the top ten scary people seen in a Walmart, and boy, did this list have me shook it. Starting us off at number ten is the thief. So this was shared by someone who's thief. long worked as a manager at Walmart. One day she came on proper surprise and. Obviously, the kid asked what happened that day. That day at work, a woman was caught trying to steal one of the prepaid phones on display. Now, when the security wow. guard caught her, she pulled out the knife she'd been using to open up the phone's packaging to cut him open. But Damn. before doing that, she cut herself cut first the boy and open? screamed about how she had AIDS and now have oh a dark AIDS as well, all because he was trying to stop her from taking the phone. Gross. The story is honestly all over the place. I don't even know what to say to you guys. I thought the first rule they teach you in research is never chase or try and apprehend anyone that's trying to steal but they also never ended that sentence with because the thief may give you aids but maybe wow. you can start doing that cut I've the phone open cut the guy up and cut herself up and she has aids like off you go <laughs> coming in at the nine is asphyxiation i honestly have no idea what is happening in this picture but the mom of this child is pushing the car while her daughter is sitting in the child seat part of the trolley which is normal that's all good wow. except for the fact the kid has a plastic bag no over insane. her head like i'm sorry the mom put that over her head, or does she do it herself? She probably did it herself. Because the former someone calls CPS, and if it's the latter, why is the mom not doing anything? Again, call CPS. When I was young, I remember seeing so many movies where someone would be getting tortured or interrogated, and asphyxiation with a plastic bag is how they'd kill the person. So I feel like if I saw this in real life at a Walmart, I'd actually intervene and be like, what is going on? What is you doing? That is not okay. At number eight, we have Piss. It's a Walmart video, you guys. Oh, I'm gonna make gosh. the titles as ratchet as a store itself. Deal with it. Why is she in a cologne so this story came from a former employee <laughs> who shared that one day a woman Playboy. came in, bought a bottle of perfume, and then went to the bathroom. And Wait. Give me a minute, because I don't even want to imagine the breeding cesspool oh, of filth that would be say. a Walmart bathroom, so you already know she's going to be doing some whack in there. Turns out she was. She poured the perfume into her own bottle that she brought and then filled the actual perfume bottle by pissing in it. Yeah. And that's not even the worst part. She then had the nerve and audacity to try and return this perfume bottle full of her own piss. Wow. The employee in question happened to be working cash that day and was like, okay, this is clearly a bottle of piss. And then called their manager and the manager clearly had enough and was just like, just process the return, just do it. Don't ask questions. Uh, the bottle was evidently still warm from how fresh the urine was. Uh, like, what kind of psycho does that? I would not, if I was working cash, you, your, I'm not processing your piss as a return. I'm not refunding you for that. She oh, I hope you just dried the bottle. Model. I don't want to be touching your piss. Filling on seventh slot is the big baby. So this picture was shared on People of Walmart back in 2009, and it appears to be an old man dressed as a big baby. Wow. He's equipped with a baby bag, a diaper, pacifier, outfit, and all. And it has no context whatsoever, so I don't know if he was just dressed like that for fun, or if he perhaps has Peter Pan syndrome. Now PPS is when someone either does not want to grow up or they're unable to do so. So the person ends up being an adult alcohol. with the mind of Watching a child. So if it's the latter, I don't want to say anything because it's not that person's fault they're suffering. But if he just came there dressed like that to creep people out, it 100% worked. I would walk or to get attention. opposite direction of this dude. I'm trying to do that to get attention at Walmart. Contact. 
to be honest. Now, at number six is the goat. This one made me hey, laugh so hard because I genuinely had no idea what I was looking at before I opened up the picture. I was like, is that ET? Is that some kind of alien? Like, what is that creature? Someone just tell me. Anyway, when I opened it up, I realized this woman was carrying a goat in a baby carrier strapped to her back. Wow. And what sent me about this one was how the goat's legs are like this around the woman's back and she's wearing a jumper and I'm like, what is going on here? Like, did the woman never have a kid and so it was just compensating by carrying around this goat? Where is the goat's real mom? And is she in distress? What happens if it, what happens if it has... this, I would legit be on my way straight out of the store like, nah, that's, that's not happening. What happens if that's a poop or something? It was a cute goat though, I'm not gonna lie. Coming in at number five is the Walmart killer. This was shared by Reddit user Sonic <sighs> Underground who said on their first day working at Walmart, a customer was in the fan aisle so the user decided to go help him out. You know when you're a first day employee or bright eyed and bushy tails, not knowing retail will suck your soul out. Either hmm. way, the man was holding two box fans, not knowing which one to buy, so he proceeds to ask the user. The user then asks him what size he's looking for, what room, and so forth, and at the end makes a very sound recommendation. The customer then shouts sucker at the user, slaps the recommended fan out of their hand, and then runs to the cashier with the other one. I feel like clearly no one cares about this employee's opinion. <laughs> Dumbfounded, the user was like, what the hell just happened to me? And their co-workers joined the user in the aisle, laughing, saying that that customer was a regular, and he was insane and also convinced Walmart was trying to kill him. So to try and beat this company's attacks, well, he would ask the staff what he should buy. That turned out different than I thought it would be. Because it was clearly booby trapped. That's what so I got killed. At number four is the girl. Now again, I'm going to preface this with the fact I don't kill yes. anyone. However, I would have been yes. really troubled by the sight of this, I'm not going to lie. She yeah. had to BB Rodriguez, who is an overnight okay. stalker at a Florida Walmart. She said that once a really pretty girl came in wearing this leather bondage right. lingerie. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. Outfit. And I mean, that's fine. BDSM is so common. However, she was on a dog leash on all fours being walked I've by three older Caucasian men. I've heard of, this heard of people walking their kids heads. on leashes and stuff and all that. She was barking all over the store and employees asked her several times if she needed help. But all she did was bark back at them. The men then paraded her around the store for an hour before buying her a chew toy and leaving. Mind Gosh. you, it was 3 bloody a.m. on a Tuesday. A like, was this girl in her right mind? But I get... I can't, I don't, can't even go into this. We are a PG channel. I get role play and staying in character, but like, do you need help? Blink twice for yes. <laughs> or even just bark once for yes. But like, I don't know the least. lack of restraint. This one was shared by someone that worked as an overnight stock employee at Walmart. She shared that one night a guy came in drunk out of his mind, which I feel like is no surprise at Walmart. She right. bent down filling a bottom shelf with green beans, and when she looked up, this guy green was this beans. close to her with his out. He then asked her if she would perform fellatio on him for $50. She didn't even dignify him with a response. She just ran to her manager. When the manager finally tracked him down in the store, he was in nothing but his underwear, rubbing and pleasuring himself on a pair of women's underwear. Whose underwear was it? Right. No clue. Either way, he was arrested shortly Her after. You. Why do people get harassed when they're at work? Like, that pisses me off to no extent. You cannot harass man or woman at work. I will fight you legitimately. I'm not even worried about it. Now, now, and number two is El Paso. Back in August of last year, a mass shooting took place at a Walmart in El Paso, which killed 20 people and badly injured more is than this about the guns? others. The victims ranged from being 35 to 82 years old, and nine of them were in critical condition at the hospital after the fact. The police managed to arrest a 21-year-old perpetrator who had apparently written a manifesto confessing the crime was racially motivated. Of course, I'd come into the police black. at 10 a.m. the day of. So it don't matter what color they were, but why As shocking and sad as that is, is, is anyone really surprised? I feel like last year there were so many mass shootings in the US, I literally can't even count them on two hands, let alone every limb on my body. You heard right. it first. Actually, you didn't hear it first because it's everywhere. Listen. And finally, at number one is the treasure. So this one is really we'll messed go back up. to that Walmart. Shared that That's my thing. Mike player. Michaels, who was a former employee, we'll Walmart, shared period. that once a very dirty old homeless man <laughs> came into the store and asked him to <laughs> ring him up at the cashier. While there, the man kept one hand inside his jacket and kept looking over his shoulder and just acting super shady and sus. The Mike didn't you think much of it, but he was shady. wearing it nonetheless and was just, just trying to scan the me. items as quickly as possible so the guy would leave. Then all of a sudden the guy looks him straight in the eye and asks, do you want to see my treasure? With a creepiest smile on his face. Now, Mike's mind was racing. Did he have a gun in his jacket? Was it a bomb? An actual piece of treasure? The possibilities were endless and the risk was very high. Before even answering, the guy then slowly opened his jacket to reveal a newborn puppy still slimy, barely even moving so covered in blood with its umbilical cord oh. very much attached like what the f mind my language but what the f 
Yeah, and then you hell find no, a no. dog that had given birth and just take a puppy. Like, what the fuck is this? It's a Walmart I'm down sorry. the street. Beat me Super up center. as much as you need to. And I don't even go in that mall. I hate it, and the puppy probably didn't survive because it needs its mom, right? Thank you, stupid homeless man. And that's it for today's video, guys. Walmart, you never fail to surprise me. I swear down. What is with people at Walmart? I still love it, though. I'm still here for it. Either way, let me know what you guys thought in the I comments below. It. Let me know if you've had very weird Walmart experiences. I'm pretty sure you guys have. I'll leave it to you below. As always, I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Walmart, there's one down the street. Never chop. Alright, these are bloopers. There's a Walmart down the street, Super Center, I will never go into. It's very big. And for some reason, when we go up there, there's always a police car parked up front. So that should tell you a lot. Anyway, if you guys like my reaction, do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell for notification for me, and they will come to you. I guess I should tell, I should tell you what was my favorite out of this whole list. Maybe the woman peeing in the per perfume bottle. That just kind of seems strange to me. Hey, but maybe she has to go really bad. I still wouldn't understand why she would return it, though. No, that's my thing. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next, in the next reaction video. Peace out.